Hey guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Today we're going to look at Bitcoin, update it. Obviously, we've been having a pretty rough time with the breakdown on Bitcoin. However, we've seen some cryptos continue to hold up, things like Cardano. But today's video, I want to get into Bitcoin, update you guys on the charts because so far we've been following this market pretty closely and pretty bang on, especially from that breakdown on April 18th, where we had the first big break looking at GAN theory and Wyckoff theory. Now, some people have uh, messaged me with a Wyckoff video, so thank you very much, guys. Uh, I had a look at it, and yes, it's something that we have been following on the channel uh, already. And if you are interested in to learn more about this, drop your email address down below. I've got a free newsletter. It goes out once every two weeks. And if you're interested in the Investor Accelerator, where we're learning from a course structured on Wyckoff theory and GAN theory as well, there's a link to that in the description down below. But let's get started on Bitcoin. Make sure you like the video up. If you're following the crypto journey here, the Bitcoin bull market, and you're starting to get a feel for how these markets are working and feeling less stressed, let me know in the comments down below. I love hearing from you guys, knowing that your bank accounts are doing very well because you are paying attention to what's going on out there. Let us know, hit the like button as well, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon. Wait for you to do that. Thank you very much. Let's dive in. Here we are at Bitcoin. So I've got a nice clean chart. Remember, we've been following it for years, but we're looking here from the first breakdown. And this was something that we picked up with the Investor Accelerator group first up. And then I got a video out on the channel, which you can go back, reference, and just understand why this was the big one. So this is the day here, 18th of April. I make mention of this every time because it's important to know where we've come from because we can get swept up with emotion. If you guys know from the last few days, it has been bonkers in the market. It's been nuts. And so if you don't have a bit of a peg in the sand further back, it makes life really difficult moving forward because you don't know where I've come from, what's going on, what's going to happen next. And you don't trust, you honestly don't trust what it is that is going on. So this is what has happened. We've looked at a Wyckoff distribution and that was mentioned in that video. So that's pretty cool things. I know people will probably be asking for it. Just search for Wyckoff, uh, Wyckoff theory, Bitcoin manipulation. But essentially, this is what we saw. Breakdown, market went to retest lows. Let's get the volume out here. And you can see that we dipped into these lows and the volume began to dry up. So we had to have a bounce back. The big thing which wasn't being talked about was 11 straight days down. You must be sick of hearing me talk about 11 straight days down. I don't think people are giving this enough attention. This is pretty massive. If you put it on candles, you'll see green come in here. That's not an up day. The top, the, all the lows are higher, which meant there was a lot of selling pressure. So how to understand this as if you were reading the news is each of these trading days, we had lower tops. This was a lower top than the, the high, lower top, lower top, lower top. I can say this 11 times because that's what we had through here, meaning that there was just not enough buying in the market to even push the price above the previous day's high. That is how bearish this pattern is. Then we saw a weak rally. See the volume down here? It looked like we may be starting to push higher and we're on Binance here, so it's high volume. This The volume is basically who is in the market and who how many trades are going on. It's not necessarily how many people, but it's how many contracts, how many Bitcoin are being traded amongst traders. And so if there is a lot of trading going on at the bottoms and we get a big bounce back, that means there's a lot of buying support. When we see a lot of volume on the way down and we get a low close, it means there's a lot of selling pressure and we have not seen much buying action going on. Now, the price range we were looking for was above 60,500. That level is very significant because that was the day that we had the big crash. You can see here, 11th of April, uh, 18th of April, and the top is 60,499 on Binance. Other exchanges is a few bucks difference. So that's why I've got a $60,500 level. Once we could get above that, then the market sentiment shifts. All right, so that's something to keep in mind as we continue to move forward with the Bitcoin market. We have bounced well and truly, uh, well, fallen pretty heavily from these highs of 59,300. So those levels fell short by about $1,000 from that top. So that is how subtle but significant that $16,500 level is. Uh, on the way down, we've had some big volume days as well. This held the market up for a day and a half, and then we continued down. So yesterday's bar was pretty significant because we've seen high volume, basically the highest that we've seen since 
the push down in February. So you can see here it was about the same sort of volume being 169,000. Yesterday was 166,000. So very similar to those days there. And I would expect some sort of bounce from this point. We've seen some big volume. We see maybe a little bounce, maybe a retest of the 46, 47. But ultimately, I think there is more downside coming for Bitcoin. So brace yourself, even if we get a move up here, maybe we come back and test these levels, 49,000, 50,000, just something to give people hope again, as if they can feel like I'm buying the dip, we get a bounce out of here. So that is something just to keep in mind if you were looking to play the game. It's probably not a bad level here either. I do like these areas of around 42, 43K because further down, I'm probably expecting something of around, like I've said many times, about that 38, 39 at the lowest end at this point, maybe up to the 43K. So this could be the level that we are watching as well. So somewhere in this region of 38 to 43K, I would expect we get a, a bit of a low in. Now, some traditional... Uh, Wyckoff textbook theory would have us going a little bit lower than here. I don't see that at this point in time. I'm looking more so at GAN, and this is something that has worked really, really well on the charts. You know, we look at 50% levels. So looking at our 50%, we've got the market anchored to our high, and our next low, the first low we want to cover is right here at about 17,000 and uh, 572, 17,572. So we change this here, 17,572. This 50% level comes out at 41,000. So on some exchanges, 41, 42, somewhere between there, but currently 41,000 is quite nice. We have seen a fair bit of volume. Guess what? We also have bounced off the old highs that were set back in January. So this was a pretty significant top as well at 41, 950. So 42,000. We've seen those levels come in. This low is at 42,000. So just a few bucks difference between the low yesterday and the top there. Looking good. We're at a close to a 50% level. I would love to see it touch that 50% and move up, but sometimes I don't get what I want. We've also pierced the previous low. So this is a significant level because this was the first or well, pretty much the last real top. And then the rest of this move is just weakening out. And if you remember, I'm talking about volume, 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 volume on previous Bitcoin videos, which is really, really important. In terms of Bitcoin itself, from the top to the next top, the market didn't really go anywhere. 11%. If you're buying the tops, you got nothing. You basically got nothing. That's why I was so convinced that we were not going to see a 70K or an 80K or whatever people were talking about all through this region. If you check YouTube from or crypto Twitter from around February to mid-April, there is a lot of talk about $70,000, $80,000 Bitcoin. I did not see it because of this reason. There was just not enough volume coming in. A lot of bleeding up talk was around. So I bring it up again. Just pay attention to that. Remember the stuff that happened in the past so you can forecast the future. That's all this is about. Just remember what went on. And this was a very prominent thing to keep people in the markets. Next thing, we crash and we crash again. We will get to 70 or 80,000. I strongly believe that we are only seeing the first major correction in Bitcoin. And this is the correction that I've been waiting for. These weren't the corrections I was waiting for. They were too small. People don't measure stuff. And that's why they look at uh, buying every single dip because they just they don't measure and they don't have an understanding of what volume means to a market. It's like putting your foot on the accelerator. And every time someone put their foot on the accelerator here, we didn't really go very far. We kind of just rolled forward a little bit, then rolled back and rolled forward a little bit and rolled back. And then this time, the car basically ro rolled off the hill because there just was not enough momentum in the market. And we've seen that again. We've had two uh, moves down now. So that's why I'm expecting a little bit of a reversal here. Maybe we'll base out, maybe we just go sideways. And then from this level, if we happen to get something like this, this is where it will get tricky. And I will be the first to admit that from this point, if we get something across that, you know, sort of looks like this, where we're going up and down, up and down, it's too hard to call it from that point. It's a lot of mess, confusion, and I can't call it from that point. There might be some days where I'll understand it and other times I won't, but when the market's running a bit more clear, these sort of things are much easier to decipher and to explain what's going on. But the sideways periods is basically the market trying to figure out, do we have enough buyers in the market to continue pushing this up? Or are there more sellers in the market and we need to 
drop the market to go and pick up all of those stop loss orders, you know, enough weak hands in the market. So that's all the market is doing in these periods. That's it. So I suspect we might see another one like that before we get a potential move down. Maybe, maybe we retest these lows and these highs and we get somewhere back into this region here. I don't think we're going to get somewhere in that region at this point in time, but let's continue on and just see what happens from this point. I don't think so at the moment because we did have a lot of volume here and we got a time, we got some time now to push up. So to wrap, well, to understand what's going on first before I have a look at a few time frames and then uh, you know put it all together, right now we've seen two solid moves down. So let's clear this off. We've seen two good moves down. One, two. Is this move over? Not not sure yet, not sure yet, but it's got a couple of good signs to say that this move is potentially over. Good volume, good volume on this down bar. We're starting to have a little bit of a move up. We do have levels to get through here. Remember the market is now bearish. It's not a long-term bear, but the sentiment has turned to bear. So maybe we hit that, maybe we come down. Maybe we hit that, maybe we break through, come back. There's a couple of options. So in terms of a buy level, not so bad in my opinion. Of course, the move down to here, we could make up another 20%, but overall, I think we're looking okay for Bitcoin. Now, how long do we spend underneath this high? If you are familiar with our other chart, our other video on the channel looking at Bitcoin, these levels have been measured and from the bottom in March to the top in April, about 57 weeks. So if we're to split that in half, that's about 20, what, 28 weeks, something like that. That's about six months, just over six months. So we've seen uh, 13 months up. Maybe we'll see six months underneath the high. I'm not saying, I'm not saying six months down, but underneath the high, something like that. And that is a pretty good regroup time. The most important thing I can say about that is do not leave the market. Follow people who are understanding the charts. Follow anyone that you resonate with. Stay with the market if you want to make money long term. The reason is. I'm looking at it like a, another accumulation zone, like I've talked about many times before through these levels in uh, 2020 and 2019. So they're not going to be as quiet as this. We still will have a lot of noise, but these were the times to be getting in. I suspect we might go through something like that now. Mate, if we bounce out of this and we go to new all-time highs in the next few weeks, it will blow my mind. I don't think that's happening just yet. But if we do get some time uh, that goes a bit boring, Bitcoin gets boring, stay with the market. Do not leave it, set some alerts, do whatever it is you have to do to stay with the market on a daily basis. Check Twitter, check YouTube, whatever it is, but just stay with it because there will be some great opportunities. If you can have patience, then you'll profit from that. Have patience with the market, seeing a move from that point, that's the way I see this sort of region now, but it will get scary. It definitely will be very scary for people who only started buying in anywhere between February and previously in May, buying all these dips. That's going to be the struggle here. So three months of uh, unfortunate times for Bitcoin buyers or new investors in that period, but long-term, I think if you stay with it, don't get freaked out, keep learning, I think you're going to do very well. So Thank you once again. That is the Bitcoin update. I'll make sure to update it very often throughout these next several months as I see the market, I don't know, understanding what it's doing, whether we're going sideways or we're going to move up. Uh, there's a Cardano video on the channel today as well. Remember, you can uh, join the Cardano staking pool. Link to that is down below. Got Ethereum videos coming out, lots more coming up as well to give you updates of the markets. Make sure you like the video if you found some value from it. Subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon, Twitter and Instagram for updates daily. And stay in touch with me for Q and A's over there on Instagram. Free newsletter down below. Drop your email address. It comes out once every two weeks to understand crypto and investing. I'll catch you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.